I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I love technology. I love new futuristic looking things. I think the Cybertruck, it looks sick. These shoes, the Yeezy Foam Runners, and any shoes that look different, that are not the norm, and clothing, I think it's awesome. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you haven't already, highly recommend you do. Link in the description below. A few days ago, I got a pair of Ray-Ban Metas. They're the sunglasses, they have a camera, you can record, you can take pictures, you can, you can listen to music with glasses, and it actually sounds pretty good. I, I took a few videos of me driving around California, and one of the many reasons why I got those glasses is because I saw Mark Kiss Brownlee's video on that topic. I watch 90 to 95% of this guy's content. I'm actually a pretty big fan, but why are we here? So two days ago, he made this video called the worst product I've ever reviewed for now. I'll play some of it in case you guys haven't seen it yet. All right, so this is the Humane AI pin. It is a brand new product and a really, really interesting form factor of an ultra futuristic wearable computer. So in a time of all these crazy gadgets and Vision Pro and wearable glasses, it's so sick that we get so many genuinely new first generation products like this to give a shot. Unfortunately, it's also the new worst product I think I've ever reviewed it's in its current state. There's just so many things bad about it. It's so bad, in fact, that I think it's actually kind of distracting to like understand what the point of the device is. Don't get me wrong. I think the product is interesting. I think this could be a way, way, way cheaper possibility in three to six years. For $700, you can get a lot more technology than that little clip that seems completely useless. Once again, some of the stuff is pretty cool. The projector, being able to type with your hand, extending it like you're Iron Man, feeling like Tony Stark, feeling like you're living in 2045. It's a cool idea. It's a cool concept, but the execution was trash and the price is ridiculous. Is bad at almost everything it does basically all the time. Where do I even start? So I guess, first of all, okay, it's supposed to just answer questions, right? It can kind of do that sometimes, but one, it's often slow because most of these requests go to the cloud and come back and there's just a long wait. And two, it's often wrong because AI still can hallucinate and there are still issues with it just not understanding correctly or just saying the wrong. Who designed the Washington Monument? Finding designer. The Washington Monument was designed by Robert Mills a prominent 19th century American architect from South Carolina. The construction was eventually completed okay. by Thomas. Maybe if it was like $300 and it worked and it was much better and it was a lot more useful, I might consider it at $300, $700 for this, not worth it, right? A lot of people agree with it. Most people agree with it, except for some people over at Twitter. I mean, this got 22 million views. This guy says, I find it distasteful, almost unethical to say this when you have 18 million subscribers. Hard to explain why, but with great reach comes great responsibility. Now, I've seen the video, and what I like about Marcus is that he's honest, and his word actually means something. He doesn't sugarcoat it. So you're pretty much saying, don't tell the truth, you could kill a company. What I would say to that is, how about you don't charge $700 for a piece of trash item? $700 goes a long way, especially in today's economy where everything is through the roof, inflation, but almost charging $1,000 for a piece of crap that doesn't even work? Marcus had every right to call this behavior out. How can you be mad at a guy that reviews tech? That's his whole thing. This guy covers everything technology-based, and if this was gaining steam and it was very popular, it was bound to be reviewed by him. How can you be mad at that when the reviewer reviews the product and it's shit? What is he supposed to say? And the top reply says, I find this post is tasteful, almost unethical. Perhaps companies shouldn't release stupid garbage. And the guy responds with, they're not forcing anyone to buy it. You can return it if you don't like it. The YouTube title was meant to crush them. A show of force by MKBHD. I don't think that was Marcus and his objective. He was like, yeah, I'm going to crush this company because I got 18 billion subscribers and this video is going to get like 10 million views. Use. His whole thing is reviewing technology, the newest technology, showing it. So before they make a $700 purchase, how is that a bad thing? And the people that are calling Marcus out for this, it's like, that's his job. That's like getting mad at me for giving my opinion on a person or talking about someone who did dumb shit. It's like, you know, that's my whole thing. <laughs> like, how can you be mad about that? 
I don't know. It, it's just stupid. This whole tweet and this person's an idiot. Marcus actually responded and says, we disagree on what my job is. He responded with, why didn't you use the same sensational title on X? This was honest, the YouTube title wasn't. So the name on X was Humane Pin Review, a victim of its future ambition. Simple answer, in my opinion, this title, a victim of its future ambition, it sucks. It's not a good title. The worst product I have ever reviewed is a much better and catchier title. I'm sure he was just testing it out on the X to see how it will perform. And to me, it's like, what part of this video is unethical? What I'm considered to be unethical would be like, I don't know, Marcus saying, this is the future. If you want to be in the future now, if you want to live in 2045 and get this product link below, that would not be ethical. And that would most likely crush and destroy the reputation he's worked on building for over 10 years. Uh, this person says, I'm surprised you're calling it unethical to tell the truth. Nassing project. It's been going on for five years and they had unlimited money. And he responded with, I feel little sympathy for overfunded companies, but with that title, he wanted to show us he can crush them Okay, this guy keeps going with this crush them, destroy him narrative. Like, Daniel, did Marcus fuck your girl or something? Why are you so mad at him? With one thumbnail, just like he did Fisker a few weeks ago, it's a show of power. You're tripping. Now, in case you guys don't know, Fisker is a company that makes cars. Marcus reviewed one of their electric cars and it was absolutely terrible. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, it's one of them. They have, you know, this is another one. This one looks really cool. I like it. But it turns out their cars suck it's not his fault he did not make the car he did not make the company you know whose fault it was the company for making a horrible car why are we blaming the youtube reviewer that is his job to review stuff why are we blaming him and not the company honest reviews are not unethical he responds with it's not honest it's sensational okay dude welcome to youtube where you need a catchy title and a good thumbnail to survive been around since 2009 like there's a difference between a catchy title and clickbait i mean this title is pretty on it i don't know what people are on about and then i found this post and it says it does look like it's terrible right now and nowhere near ready hold on let me pause if it's not ready don't ask for 700 dollars out the gate but i wonder would it be getting the same treatment if apple made it well if apple made it it would be much better the thing with the clip thingy is that it didn't work with your phone it was its own separate device and if apple made this product it would have worked with my iMac which I used to edit my videos. It would have worked with my iPhone, with my iPad, with my AirPods Mac, everything that I have that is Apple because it's all connected. Everyone is dunking on Humane AI pimp, but have you tried to fit a class two laser projector, a camera, a microphone, LED light, and a magnetic booster into a tiny package the size of an Apple Music? No, I haven't. Stupid ass question. And if you're gonna charge $700 for something, make it work. If you watch the video, there's numerous times where the pin is way too slow or it just doesn't work then take more time to make it work on it but don't charge people 700 dollars. and this person responds with well no but why would i if it's not solving a problem anyone actually has just because something is technically impressive does not mean it solves a human need you can invent an infinite amount of wow that's impressive products that won't sell a single unit it's equivalent of thinking using complicated words to make you appear intelligent the marcus brownlee hate is corny as is but on twitter it's just ridiculous it's just like yeah marcus just keep your mouth shut don't talk about it don't share your opinions don't review tech products on a channel that is all about the coolest technology. And he did end up responding to all of this. I was not the first actually even to cover the humane pin, but I'm also far from the only one to talk about it. And even a little inside baseball, when a product comes out that's this notable or this bad, uh, which isn't very often, a lot of reviewers like that's, it's a very, it's stressful. You wanna make sure you get everything right. A lot of us are literally trading notes and like trying to figure out like when mine died in two hours and overheated on my chest without doing anything, I thought it was like an issue with mine. And I was texting a couple others and sure enough, they're having the same things happen to them. So we're all trying to be as, as thorough as possible and making sure our reviews are truthful, 
And so that's how you get a bunch of truthful reviews. I don't understand when you have thousands of people bitching and crying about don't review stuff. He's been reviewing shit since like 2009, 2010 when he was a little kid. Blow out of proportion. But with that said, what do you think of the situation? Marcus is the GOAT and one of the best YouTubers of all time. Like I will put him right next to Mr. Beast and PewDiePie, honestly. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you next time. All right, peace.